Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you guys what I eat in a week. Truthfully, I almost scrapped this video because this was the week that there was so much happening in my house. I couldn't use my kitchen. I couldn't do a lot of things. Honestly, I door dashed and I don't actually know if I really ate out. But I didn't cook as much as I normally would and I didn't eat as many greens as I normally would. I definitely didn't eat like how I normally would just because I love cooking. It's like a little bit more elaborate for me and I'm really working on like cooking healthy meals and things like that. But this was a week that was interrupted, okay? I couldn't use my kitchen for a few days. I had to be out of my house. It was a very hectic week. So I feel like this video could be even more like relatable in that sense. Also, I just want to mention, I don't have any like restrictions on what I eat. I eat pretty much everything. I'm a Texan. Like I, I eat meat, things like that. I like eating healthier because it makes me feel good and it gives me more energy. And mainly I just try to eat meals that I cook from home because that is when I always find myself feeling my best. So this week I didn't really feel my best and I'm sorry, but this is the reality of life sometimes. Also, I wanted to mention if food is a triggering topic for you, do not watch this video. I just like watching these videos because I like getting different meal ideas and seeing what people are eating from home and out and about. So if food is a triggering topic for you, don't watch this video. Just click off. You guys can watch all my other vlogs. There's so many other like non-food related things. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. If you need any recipes, they're always on my Instagram on Reels. Okay, so let's get started. You guys are not going to believe this. I just recorded this entire voiceover and apparently it wasn't recording. So anyways, um, I started my morning off with water and liquid IV, which I do pretty much every day. I didn't film every time I was drinking water, but just know I do that all the time. If you want to try liquid IV, um, I have a discount code down below. Then, like I said, this is a pretty pitiful week, but a very on the go week where I was disrupted. Okay. And I didn't do a lot of grocery shopping due to the fact that I wasn't going to have access to my kitchen most of the time. So I thought I was gonna make avocado toast, got sad when I realized I didn't have avocado, then I made some peanut butter toast, thought I could add some honey, and that's how much honey came out. So, you know, there we are. Also had some coffee. A few hours later, I went to Starbucks and I tried this per recommendation from the barista, and this is my new favorite drink. It is so good. Like, I actually am craving it now, and I need to go for lunch. I made some leftovers. They were just some chicken tacos, or just brisket tacos from um, DoorDash. Then I door dashed some dinner from Chop Shop. So good. My door dash link will be down below. I also got a little cookie because they're very good. All right, I started off my morning with, again, some more water. These glasses are just the best. I got them on Amazon and some coffee as always. And then, of course, every morning I eat avocado toast and this glaze from Trader Joe's really changes the game. This was a very you know, hormonal week, if you know what I'm saying. So I was so hungry. Um, so I made a second breakfast. This is my favorite non-dairy yogurt with blueberries and almond butter. Like I said, an emo week. So I you, I make this like literally twice a year. It's called the Corey Special. My cousin, when I was younger, used to make it for me. And so when I'm really emo, that's what I make sometimes. Then I just made some healthy turkey chili. So if you guys want the recipe, it's on my Instagram on a reel. I eat this a lot this week. That's typically what I do. I'll make like one or two recipes and either have it for lunch or for dinner, sometimes for both if I'm very lazy. The next morning I went to Foxtrot very early. I got some coffee and breakfast. So I got a dirty chai with oat milk and then um, some breakfast tacos. If you guys live in Dallas, I highly recommend the breakfast tacos from, um, I almost said Taco Diner, what? From Foxtrot, they're very good. Later on, I had some avocado toast. This is like my go-to for everything, as you guys can tell. I ended up having to go to run an errand later, so I picked up a perfect bar and some tea, came home, and I, oh, this is my favorite tea, by the way. Again, guys, they made me order it different. I'm not really sure. I would screenshot the first time I got it. Then I came home, I heated up my turkey chili. Very good, okay, cannot recommend this enough. For dinner, I made some chicken tacos. Um, this was not my favorite recipe I've ever made, so I didn't even share the recipe. They were okay, not the, not the greatest. So Thursday morning, I ended up doing four slices of bread. So I had the Dave's thin sliced bread, which I don't recommend because it's not filling. It's like half of it. So I have to do four instead of two, you know? Then I ended up getting my peppermint cold brew. I really try to stay away from sugary drinks. I know I had a try, but you know, hormonal, whatever, who cares? Velvet taco, my, um, this is what I had for lunch. So good. Again, my DoorDash link will be down below. I get the picnic chicken tacos 
And then I had Smoothie King. I had one of the massive smoothies and I went to bed really early. I had no access to my downstairs area. So, you know, disruptions. Um, again, I had my avocado toast on the thin sliced bread. So I have four of them with my favorite glaze from Trader Joe's. I heated up my um, chili leftovers for lunch and then I had this soda. I, you know, as we know, I'm a drink influencer. This flavor I like, I feel like this brand could have better flavors, but I do like the drinks. And this is what I had for a little slack. And then for dinner, I just put together random things. So I had like brown rice, salmon, cucumber, carrots, and some like healthy sauce. I don't know. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Got some ideas maybe. I mean, I know it was a little bit hectic. I eat the same thing every morning pretty much. And um, whatever I meal prep, essentially. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I never really noticed that I was hard on myself until I started talking about my podcast with my close circle. So my boyfriend kept saying, like, you're so hard on yourself. You're so critical. My roommate was saying that, like, my brother, my parents. So I didn't even realize that it was that. I think it was just bringing me so much, like, stress and anxiety that it was really easy for me to overthink it. And I also think I just have such like heroes in the podcast industry that creating my own was so stressful for me and like so intimidating to do. So yeah, I think I just had like a concept of what I wanted it to be. And if it wasn't at that level, then I like wasn't gonna be happy with it. That makes sense. Who are some of your podcast heroes? So there's this guy, his name is Alex Bloomberg, I believe. He did a podcast called Startup. And that was the first podcast that like really got me into podcasts. And it was essentially a podcast documenting him launching his podcast company. And it was unlike any podcast I'd ever, I'd ever heard. And it changed my perspective on what I could create. It like opened up this whole other world. So hearing him do that and then his other projects and then all the other podcasts under Gimlet, which is the company he started, were always just like so inspirational for me. When you look back to starting...